Okay, the problem we have here reads, find the derivative and factor completely. The problem is y equals a half times x squared times square root of 25 minus x squared. And then we have our two um, equations up here that we're going to need throughout this problem. So first, I'm just going to change the square root to a simpler, where is it? Now? First, oh, whoops, not y prime. y equals half x squared. I'm just going to change this to a 25 minus x squared to the half. Because I'll make it easier throughout the problem. So, it looks like we have ourselves a product rule here between x squared and 25 minus x squared to the 1 half. So, now we'll find y prime. So, the 1 half is just a number, so we'll just keep it out in front. So, the product rule first says that we take the first one, derivative of the second, and now since this one has an exponent, we have to do a chain rule, which is up here, states up here. So, chain rule says that we take the exponent and bring it down. So the one half comes down, keep the inside, and then subtract the exponent by one. So negative one half. And then we have to multiply the derivative of the inside, which is negative two x. Negative, whoops. And that is just for this one. That's the chain right there. Next step of the product says to add just the second one. So 25 minus x squared to the 1 half multiplied by the derivative of the first. So times 2x. There. Now the calculus is done. We just have to clean it up and do algebra. So y prime equals half. So up here, we can just kind of cancel this one half and the two, because those just end up canceling out. And then also, this x squared is multiplied by this negative x. So that'll be um, negative x squared, or to the third. So move this out here. So 25 minus x squared to the one half times a x to the third, negative x to the third plus a, we'll just, I'm just kind of move this out to the front, so times a 2x, 25 minus x squared to the 1 half. And now since there's x's here we need to get rid of, we'll just bring that out to the front. So y prime equals half x, so 25 minus x squared to the half, we got rid of one of these x's, so that turned into a times negative x squared plus get rid of this x, so 2, 25 minus x squared to the half. Now next, we have to factor another step, which is we'll factor out a um, 25 minus x squared to the half from this. Oh, whoops, this is supposed to be a negative half. My bad. So we're just going to multiply that out in the front in order to get rid of this exponent. So this will be y prime equals half x, 25 minus x squared, minus half. And then since this is being multiplied, this becomes its own. So this is, this is all being multiplied by this. So this will become a negative x squared plus 2, 25 minus x squared. And since it's being multiplied, these two are being multiplied, the, you add the exponents. And the negative 1 half plus a half becomes 1. So there's no exponent left. Alright. Now we just need to contribute these. So, so we y prime equals half x 25 minus x squared, negative 1 half. And this becomes 50 minus 3x squared, 
once you contribute each one, this is what it comes out to be. And now that is our final answer, except we have a negative exponent here. We don't really want that floating, so we're just going to make it a fraction and move that to the bottom. So the final answer is y prime equals x times this one since there's no negative exponent. Move that to the bottom. And the 2 is on the bottom of the fraction, so that'll be 2. 25 minus x squared to negative 1 half. And there's our final answer, except one little thing. We could change this to a square root. So we'll just do that. So x times 50 minus uh, 3x squared over 2 square root of 25 minus x squared. And that is our final answer.